Is that going to be the new norm for impeachment? You put an impeachment together in a couple of weeks. We don't like what the president did. We get it through in a two-day proceeding in front of the Judiciary Committee. We wrap it up and we send it up here and say, now go figure it out. Because that's what this is really becoming. That's what this actually is. So I think if we're looking at the institutional interests that are at stake here, this is a very dangerous precedent. Because what they're doing, what they're saying is basically, well, we have enough to prove our case. That's what, that's what Manager Schiff says, but not really. So we really need more evidence, not because we need it, because we want it. But we didn't want it bad enough when we were in the House, so we didn't get it. So now you issue the subpoena, and then let's duke it out in court and see what happens. It sounds like to me that this is, they're, they're acting like this is some municipal traffic court proceeding. I remind everybody that we're talking about, under their articles of impeachment, they are requesting the removal of the President of the United States. So, you know, they're already saying in the media that they are ongoing investigation, they're going to continue and investigate. So you could be, are we going to be doing this every three weeks? Every month except in the summer? There's an election months away. The people should have a right to vote. My colleague Pat Cipollone, the White House counsel, said that. So when I look at all of this, whether it's the, the late need of witnesses after you said you proved your case, if it's how do privileges apply or not apply, Senator Schumer said we get anybody we want, we'd be here for a very, very long time. And that's not good for the United States.